Millennia before Nigeria's borders were drawn, the region was home to some of the earliest human civilizations in West Africa. Around 1000 BC, the Nok culture emerged in central Nigeria. Known for their pioneering use of iron tools, the Nok people revolutionized agriculture and metalwork. Their terracotta sculptures are among the oldest in Africa offering glimpses into their belief systems and artistic expressions. These figurines, often depicting human and animal forms, are intricate and mysterious. Between the 10th and 15th centuries, powerful kingdoms began to form in what is now modern Nigeria. Among the earliest was the Kingdom of NRI, founded by the Igbo people. NRI was unique in its peaceful expansion, relying on diplomacy rather than conquest. Simultaneously, the Yoruba people established the Kingdom of Ife, considered the birthplace of Yoruba civilization. Ife was known for its sophisticated bronze and ivory art. The Yoruba Oyo Empire, however, became the most dominant force in the region, renowned for its military might and advanced governance systems. By the 11th century, Islam began to take root in the northern regions of Nigeria. This shift led to the rise of the Hausa city-states, such as Kano, Zaria, and Katsina, which became centers of trade and Islamic scholarship. The introduction of Islam brought profound changes to governance, law, and education, uniting these city-states under a shared religious and cultural framework. Trans-Saharan trade flourished, as Hausa merchants traded gold, salt, and slaves across vast distances. The 15th century marked a dark period in Nigeria's history with the arrival of European explorers, beginning with the Portuguese. Over time, other European powers such as the British, Dutch, and French became involved, particularly in the transatlantic slave trade. Coastal Nigerian communities, especially in the region that would become Lagos, became deeply entangled in this tragic trade. African leaders and European traders formed alliances, exchanging goods for human lives. Captured Nigerians were transported across the Atlantic Atlantic and inhumane conditions, leaving a lasting scar on the region. By the late 19th century, British influence expanded significantly in Nigeria. Through treaties, diplomacy, and force, the British consolidated control over vast territories. They established the Lagos Colony in 1861, extending their reach inland to the Niger Delta, and eventually into the northern regions. In 1914, under Lord Frederick Luger, the British merged the southern and northern protectorates, forming modern-day Nigeria. However, this amalgamation was more about administrative convenience than unity, and it laid the groundwork for future ethnic and political tensions. Despite the colonial grip, by the early 20th century, Nigerian intellectuals and leaders began pushing for independence. Figures like Namdi Azakai, Obafemi Awolowo, and Amadou Bello became vocal champions of self-determination, drawing inspiration from global anti-colonial movements. Political parties were formed, and by the 1950s, Nigeria was well on its way to independence. The years of British exploitation and division were coming to an end. On October 1, 1960, Nigeria gained independence, and Namdi Azakai became the country's first president. The promise of a united, free Nigeria was celebrated across the nation. However, independence brought new challenges. Nigeria's vast diversity, with over 250 ethnic groups, created political and social tensions. In 1967, these tensions erupted into the Nigerian Civil War, also known as the Biafran War, which lasted until 1970. The war left deep scars, as millions of Nigerians suffered, and it remains a pivotal event in the nation's history. Since the end of the Biafran War, Nigeria has faced both challenges and triumphs. It has grown into Africa's most populous country and one of its largest economies, thanks to its oil reserves. However, the country continues to grapple with issues such as corruption, ethnic divisions, and terrorist groups like Boko Haram. Despite these struggles, Nigeria's cultural influence, from its music to its film industry, Nalawu, has placed it on the global stage. Today, Nigeria stands at a crossroads, filled with promise but mindful of its complex past. Nigeria's story is one of resilience complexity, and hope. From its ancient kingdoms to its modern struggles, the journey of this nation continues to unfold. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Nigeria's history, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more historical content.